This is Tom Does Tech, I'm Tom, and in this video we're going to look at a solution to a problem that really annoys me, redefining variables. So we've all seen this code before. We define our result as a let, and then we redefine the result in our try block, and then we catch the error. But this code is problematic. For one, it's not very functional. And secondly, who's to say that we don't redefine this result later on in our code? There needs to be a better way of doing this. But before we look at the solution, let's have a look at our getResult function. So a function takes a number, and it will return a promise that either returns a number or an error. And if the number is zero, it will return the error, or it will return the number. So let's run this function with zero, and we can see that it handles the error. And let's run this function with one, and we can see that it prints our result. So let's have a look at how we can do this in a more functional way. So we create a try to catch function that takes a function and arguments, and it will run our function in a try catch block, and it will return the error as null, and then it will return the result of our function. Otherwise, it will return an error. So let's refactor our code to use our new try catch function. We'll remove the try catch block. We'll wrap a function in our new function. We'll define our variables as constants. Get our error out of the array. Now we can handle our error. And we can keep our result console log as normal. And we can see that this code looks a lot more flat already. We can't redefine result but we can still handle our error. And we can see in the console that the code functions as normal. So that's a functional way of handling try to catch. If you found this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe. Thank you for watching.